Hello, and welcome to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is going to be a message for, well, whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So... Today was a day, it was a very long day. It had some really high points, some really good high points. Um, it also had its challenges. And before I sat down to read today, um, I was reminded that when you do energy work and I do feel that using the cards to divine a message from the spirit is a form of energy work that you have to monitor yourself um, when I'm doing these readings even though yes I am a part of the collective um, my goal is to read for the collective as opposed to reading for myself and in order for me to do that I have to make sure that I am on an even keel meditate and contemplate that I'm on an even keel that I'm not overly anxious in one direction. All right. And working with cards is definitely a, a form of meditation, especially for me. Um, It really helps me to calm my mind and get in touch with what spirit has to say. There, this has been a new moon week. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Is it's three new moon cards in a row. Page 64. Let's see what it has to say. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. This card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. It also suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and what you're expecting. However, if you're onto a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could help bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little wet and watery, that's Pisces for you. This is the last sign of the Zodiac and the new moon in Pisces card can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. I used to call this tightrope time. when I knew that I was on the precipice of moving from one phase of my life into a new phase and recognizing that 
I was going to need to be in lockstep with spirit along the way. I, I had that feeling that wavering was not an option because to take one's eyes off the prize meant sudden death or certain death. Those times when I prayed the hardest and I knew that me going from one phase to the next was 98% spirit and 2% me being connected to spirit. This is the energy that I get from this card. Stay on an even keel. Do not let anger or excitement cause you to go astray. You've come a very, very long way and you are so much closer to your goal than you think. Remember why you started. Remember the faith that you had when you started. Remember what that felt like. And reclaim it. Queen of Swords up top. Two of Wands down below. Ten of Pentacles behind and the moon in front. Well then, that just illustrates what I was just talking about. Okay, first up, Queen of Swords. Looking at the truth. still willing to entertain the facts until it is time to cut off the communication and go ahead with the decision with her mighty sword and the two of wands understanding that forward motion is inevitable and that a decision must now be made as to which direction you're going to go, this way or this way. It's up to you. With the 10 of pentacles behind you, this seems to me more like a push um, instead of it being like energy that is past you, like you, you're not, like you've missed out on, like you've missed out on your opportunity to gain the wealth. It's not. It's not how I'm seeing it here. I'm I'm seeing it as a, as a driving force to move forward. But you've got the moon in front of you, which again, there's that tightrope again, um, under knowing that the stakes are, are quite high, this go around and that you're not able to see that you're not able to see what's next. I've got the Empress, the death card, Nine of Cups and the Three of Wands. Yeah, it is time to move forward. 
into it's time to move forward into this time of creation into the wish fulfillment with more to come. The Empress is a yes, she embodies all of the queens. We say that a lot. Well, we say it a lot because it's true. But like in in this picture, she's sitting in the kitchen happily feeding a baby with the stars around her countenance and the sun beaming down on them both. I don't know how many of you have have actually fed an infant. But it is one of the sweetest bonding moments an adult can have with a baby. Because the adult has to focus on the child and give them their undivided attention while nourishing the baby. There's something so simple and so sweet about it. And this dream that you have for yourself. And this would be the baby. The food that the Empress is giving the baby is the meditation as depicted in the center and the center energies and you would be the empress wholly focused on providing love care and nutrients to the purpose and with this death card here um, that signifies like a new beginning or a new stage, right? What you were doing or how you've been, how you've been operating is winding up and coming to a close. And it's time for this new beginning here with the Nine of Cups, this, this wish fulfillment. Uh, this is depicted as happiness. You see like the solo cups and the hot dog and the sunset and, you know, people running and playing like, I mean, solo cups. Solo cups usually indicate a good time, a gathering, um, making merry, right? Picnics usually put one. It gives it gives a person the feeling of joy, recreation, relaxation, togetherness. All the pinks and greens depicted in the card, uh, much like the colors that are associated with the heart chakra, all right?
there's a lot of there is a lot of abundance listed here too and shown with the grass and the foliage and the thick trees and things and then with the three of wands so it's you know waiting for your ship to come in this is listed as virtue here um, if you are waiting on a fire truck and you see the fire truck coming you under you know that relief is on the way the relief may not be immediate because it's a fire truck but the fire truck is here to stop the destruction and to provide a way for rebuilding and a place for rebuilding to take place. You've got the Prince of Discs, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Watch those around you. Watch them critically. As you move into as you move into this new way of being, watch those that you you are celebrating with and view them critically. There is someone There's someone one of seven one of seven there's someone around you that does not want the best for you because you're moving into this this new way of being where you are sure of yourself you are standing ten toes down you are giving yourself credit for knowing what you know and you are no longer apologizing for who you are and someone someone around you who is used to you not being in this frame of mind who was gaining from you not being in this frame of mind is around so watch them carefully king of pentacles justice six of cups and the hangman in reverse Again, okay. <sighs> this has been a long time coming. This change has been a long time coming. you deserve to enjoy it and because the wait is over it's justice is coming in swift and you will be relieved when it is when it's handed down five of Pentacles knight of cups eight of swords and the strength come on y'all saw me shuffle this 
Y'all saw me shuffle this. It's going to be tough not to read this person the right act, whoever this is, that does not have your best interests at heart. You, with this Five of Swords, you, you know that if it is done prematurely that you're going to be the one that winds up looking bad. So you're taking a step back to look at the bigger picture and kind of wondering if addressing this all together is even worth it because you've made strides to be your best self. Eight of Pentacles, you've been working on it too. Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Magician. You've been working on this real hard. The Ace of Wands, wait, wait. wait. And you've been honing your craft. You've been honing your craft. Working on yourself. Honing your craft, working on yourself, falling back in love with yourself, and that's gonna be that's gonna be the key. Because you've got everything that you need. But you're gonna have you're gonna have to walk away and walk towards there you go. Walk towards this new journey because it's gonna benefit you going to benefit you. This is a whole new you. This is a whole new you. Art, Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, always thinking ahead. And the Ten of Swords with the lessons that you've learned from all of those who have hurt you in the past. With this Ace of Cups, you are not interested in making future people pay for the sins of those that came before them with the sun card coming on out. And for that, you are being blessed. Um, Page of Swords, the Emperor, and the King of Wands. You are being blessed with this new also even though in addition to this newfound passion that you've got, you have also sharpened your mental. And you are comfortable in you being the subject matter expert, which is fabulous. And you are also 
giving yourself license to shine finally yeah the days of shying away and letting someone else dictate who you are is over you not only do you have an understanding of yourself but you're also gaining an understanding of humanity and leaving a lot of these things behind those that have take those people that have taken you for granted with the four cups fight's going to be there five of wands but you've got great gains to make with the three of cups because you chose yourself lovers and because of that spirit is granting you this new life This is not a really animated drawing today or an animated reading today. The message is still there. The message is still there. High, high stakes, people. High stakes, ladies and gentlemen. But you are built for this. So, thank you for taking time to hang out with me. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.